Hey folks, Dylan here. I saw a thing pop up on X, formerly Twitter, this week, which was, uh, Hey tech nerds, here's a question. How many fundamental layers of abstraction are there between the output on my computer monitor and the little tiny on-off 1-0 switches in my computer? Now this question kind of really got to me. I've been thinking about it a lot and uh, I thought this would be a fun way to share the answer because I think the answer to how many fundamental layers of abstraction is actually five. Now we're gonna actually start a level below what we got going on here because I think the lowest layer here is actually electrical signals because ones and zeros don't really exist. What exists is electricity. Electricity is messy. It wobbles up and down and it has interference and it has noise. And so the first abstraction is all the really incredibly smart people building all the microchips and signal processing technology. I mean, we can take a waveform like this and we can say, right, well, anything above that line, that's a one and anything below that line, that's a zero and clean up the rest of the noise, which means we get to think in terms of ones and zeros instead of in terms of noisy electrical signals. And uh, if you ever overclocked your CPU and you've had to crank the voltage up a little bit to get it to stay stable, then you've broken this abstraction because you are no longer, you're kind of messing with the abstraction about ones and zeros and that extra voltage there is to ensure a strong enough signal that those abstractions keep working. So we get as far as ones and zeros and you put enough of these things together and what makes binary computing, digital computing really powerful is enough of these things together, we can start treating these as data. The next abstraction is about turning ones and zeros into structured data by representing numbers, by representing words, text, letters of the alphabet, emoji, computer program, source code. All these kinds of things are abstractions over ones and zeros. And if you've ever got a text file that you couldn't open, or you've opened something up and the encoding has been all weird, it couldn't print currency signs properly, then that's a failure of this level of abstraction. You're having to think about the ones and zeros because the abstraction is broken down. The next level up on the stack to me is hardware. You push a key on your keyboard and uh, something appears on your computer monitor. That to me is an abstraction over structured data because the keyboard has instructions that are built in terms of structured data. That sends instructions to your processor, which is hardware, which works on structured data. That sends signals to your graphics card, to your monitor, which is working in terms of this structured data. A hard drive is an abstraction over storing structured data. A network card is an abstraction over transmitting structured data. If you've ever had a hard drive fail, at that point, that's the hardware abstraction going wrong. And so that's when, you know, data recovery specialists step in because they're the people who can work both sides of that abstraction. Then the next level up is operating systems. Because uh, when you build a native application, you build it for Windows, you build it for Mac OS, you build it for Linux or iOS or Android. And it's kind of obvious that if you build an application for Windows, you probably can't run it on a Mac and vice versa. But if you build an application for Windows, you shouldn't care what people are running Windows on. Dell, Lenovo, Asus, you know, whatever kind of computer they got, if it runs Windows, it should be able to run your app. If you build an app for Android, it should run on any device that runs Android. If someone can't run your Android app, you have to figure out why. What have they got? Have they got some kind of, you know, weird smartwatch that they bought on Timu.com? And suddenly the abstraction has broken because now you have to think about hardware. You can't just think about this abstraction at the operating system level anymore. And I think there's another one which is uh, too important to leave out, which is the web, because these days, a lot of application development doesn't care whether you're, you know, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, because it's web-based. Web apps, the abstraction there is you put it on the web and it works anywhere. And when that abstraction breaks down is when you find out that somebody has been trying to use your online booking system using the browser built into their Samsung smart TV or something like that. And so you got to get your hands dirty. The abstraction breaks down and you've got to figure out what is it that makes Samsung smart TVs special. So that is I think the, the sort of fundamental abstractions. We got the web. The web is an abstraction over operating systems. Operating systems are an abstraction over hardware. Hardware is an abstraction over structured data, which is an abstraction over ones and zeros, which is an abstraction over electrical signals. And remember that's actually five because the abstractions are the gaps between the levels, not the levels themselves. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching folks. Catch you next time.